What is the crack, lads? Welcome back to another player review. It feels like all, I'm only doing these videos now. Player reviews, there's so many cards and packs that they've added, but we will be getting back to Dream Team quite soon, as well as having a couple of other bits and pieces on the channel. So yeah, we will be doing a live stream as well quite soon, so make sure and keep it locked uh, for when we go live on that. And we will be setting up the Discord that's open now, but we will be extending that out. But anyway, look, on to the Japanese, the Japanese Premium Edition. We already did the other pack, the Japanese National Team Selection, Fiori Hashi, um, Maeda, a couple of other players there. But this one has 11 players, and it follows on from the Argentina pack, the English pack, the Brazil pack, and the French pack and Germans packs. So Germans packs? German packs. So yeah, you've got 11 players ranging in skill and ranging in progression. There are a couple of highlights here. As ever, we're not going to focus on every single player on, on eFootballDB.com and Maximo. You guys can do that. I will leave a link in the description below. And let me know any feedback for eFootballDB as well. The lads are still trying to improve it and take all your feedback on board. And there will be a dedicated section over on the Discord when we open that up as well for eFootballDB. So yeah, let's get on with it, right? We're going to start with the pick of them, right? And switch it up a little bit and go from kind of best to worst, right? And we're going to do this in real time. Because this guy, lads, Ito, is a very, very, very unique player. And he is obviously the hero card of this selection. It's from match day, uh, February 1st, 2022, um, which was only a couple of months ago. But yeah, he's an extremely, extremely good card and a very interesting card to, to level up because I'll tell you why, right? There's so many things with this card. You've got a wavering form. He's on B rating because he's a legend card. On top of that, you've got super sub. You've got so many beautiful, beautiful dribble and player skills, such as double touch, which is invaluable, um, heel trick, cut behind and turn. Then you've got shooting skills, long range curler and rising shot. And then you've got passing skills, pinpoint crosser as a winger, that's invaluable. Gamesmanship, super sub is unreal and true passing. And then you've also got early crosser and speeding bullet, amazing run and incisive run. So lads, the AI on this guy, when you're not controlling him, is going to be incredible. And when you have him as well, you're going to be able to train him up in so many different ways, right? So he is definitely one of the main reasons you should be looking to get this pack, lads. If you are looking to get it, he's definitely incredible he's got 112 progression points 57 levels to go and even his base stats there at the moment lads are not too bad 77 acceleration all of them are going to be improved massively when we train him up <laughs> excuse me i need a drink but the dexterity can go 24 levels from here we could max him out at 99 um with like what 22 levels gone but yeah, we don't need to do that. I mean, we just need his pace to be at about maybe 90 and then obviously get that up to about 90. And then you're going to have a winger that has got 85 dribbling, 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 89 stamina. We need to boost up a couple of more bits and pieces. His passing doesn't need to be touched too much. Now, this is where the card kind of differs, right? Depending on what you want to do, okay? As a winger, you don't need massive stamina, especially if this guy is going to be a super sub. So we can actually take this down a good bit and bring his pace down a good bit there. And that's going to give us back, what, we have 42 points. This is where you need to differ, right? This is going to take us, you know, 22 points to get us from there to there, right? So I don't think it's actually worth spending 22 points there because that 84 speed is going to be enough if you're going to be using this guy as a super sub. If you're not, you can just basically play him for maybe 70 minutes and he should be doing enough in that you're either going to win or lose and then be able to bring on a replacement for him but yeah depending on how you want to train him up if you want to use him as like a dribble centric kind of taking on the man and running in um like how you would use dembele or anthony or one of the top class wingers in it you could definitely boost him up the way i'm going to show you two versions of him right so the first one is this this is how i would probably rate him up if i did have him i would leave his dribble or his lower uh, body strength there and i would probably boost up his dribble into maybe 87 i would try get that tight possession up a little bit his passing doesn't really need to be touched this is where it's going to eat um your kind of most stats i would need to get that offensive awareness up to 80 his acceleration and balance are very important as well and then i would pump the rest into dribbling to get you 90 dribble 93 acceleration and then you could decide whether you wanted to have a little bit more to speed or whether you wanted just one more point there and then obviously you can put that on to pass and you're going to have a 92 overall winger you're going to have 90 dribbling you're going to have 88 ball control you're going to have 94 acceleration 86 balance absolutely incredible card i think he is a reason 
enough to get this pack if you're looking for something different. If you're looking for something different and not to have your Neymars and not to have those regular players that everyone seems to have, he definitely is somebody that I would recommend. Like, he looks absolutely insane. Um, and he is always going to be on B form. He's an iconic celebration and all that sort of stuff. Similarly, in this pack, lads, we do have Endo, who we will check out here now as well. He kind of caught my eye as a DMF. Um, he's got some really interesting stats, really interesting stats. If you are looking to kind of have a DMF, that's not your run of the mill guy, right? So straight away, we do have uh, interception. We have man marking. We have heading. We have acrobatic clearance and captaincy. We've got unwavering form. And then maxing him out over on eFootballDB, we have got 90 tackling, 88 stamina, 80 lofted pass, 77 acceleration. That is extremely good with that player card. That's one of the best DMFs in the game, lads, if you can actually use him and he handles well on the pitch. Similarly, we've got Yoshida, who's a center back. Not bad either. A very decent player. He's got high defensive stats. You're going to be using this guy as more of an aerial kind of... Um, uh, not a threat, but to kind of like deal with aerial threats is what I should say. 12 points into defending, 7 into aerial strength. You could, look, if you wanted to, I never really focus too much on acceleration, lads, or uh, speed. It's not a massive difference, like to me, whether a player is like one or two lower uh, speed. The acceleration is probably more important. 73, 73, physical contact is really good. His defense stats are really good. And then the header with that height is going to be good as well. He's got interception and he's got blocker, which are two vital stats that you do need if you are, you know, defending a lot through the center, center areas. Uh, going back to the actual game, we have Endo here as well, we focused on, and as I said, he is a very, very good player as well, he's got a couple of different player stats, um, we've also got Morita, who we'll focus on in a second as well, really good player, sliding tackle, fighting spirit, interception, he has standard form, but he's on D rating, so that kind of takes him down a little bit, but still, the stats that you're going to be seeing here are actually quite decent, if you look into his stats there, very nice, he's more of a passer, um, so I definitely would recommend Yoshida ahead, or not Yoshida, Endo ahead of him, but still a very decent player if you wanted him to support in, uh, Lisbon man. So Minamino is next, he's a really good winger, there is obviously um, an option that you can have how you train him up, I said that there with Ito lads, if you wanted to train him up in a different way, right, you could actually take away a little bit of the dribbling, and you could put the passing up, because if you want to be crossing shots into him, you don't need that acceleration or... Um, anything else you can just do the cross and the lofted pass and that would be an option there with Minamino I think he's more suited to be a dribbler like you know you're not really going to be boosting up that pass too much that is how I've trained him up 35 levels 91 overall he's a bit of a beast as well lads I will say that his form isn't the best he doesn't have the best player skills but he's have, he has everything you want as a winger and then speaking of wingers we have Matomo who's one of my favorite players in the game on my other profile on my cheap uh, rags to riches squad which i will be doing on the ps5 as well soon roman flank playing style he's got speeding bullet he's got double touch he's got flip flap outside curler incisive run as his playing style absolutely brilliant player and this guy is like a, a kind of an e-football special player that plays way beyond his stats 90 acceleration 90 dribbling 85 tight possession 81 balance doesn't even really matter too much he doesn't have early crosser um or the pin pie crossing so you are going to be using him as a more traditional kind of um left play like left winger uh that's going to be taken on their man but his 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 base card lads goes to 47 levels and it's insane as well and then last of the featured ones we have Tan taniguchi who 38 who at 38 levels he's not going to be the best player that you buy but he's not a bad player either he doesn't have amazing player skills but that tree form and also that uh speed and acceleration means that you can kind of boost him up fairly high if you want to have a fairly fast center back so yeah, going back to the game, just to finish out the rest of them, we do have a couple of more here. We've got Itikura here, who's not a bad player. He's got really good defense. Um, he's got a wavering form, fighting spirit, interception, aerial superiority. Quite a decent player. The 31 levels do kind of limit him a little bit because of the acceleration and the heading. Um, but other than that, yeah, you can get his defense really, really high there as well. Physical contact is a very important stat now, lads, for your uh, central midfielder and center back players. So we'll get into that as well. Um, who else do we have here? We have the right back, Yamin. Uh, again, he's not a bad player. Doesn't have that many player skills, so I wouldn't really focus too much on him. He's not going to excel in any like attributes or any stats. We also have a Tanaka, Tanaka, who's a, a DMF. 
Um, another player that has standard form, a man marking weight and pass long range shooting. A bit of a nice mix, but yeah, not somebody that I would focus on too much with those 39 levels. And then last but not least, we have Gonda, who's the goalie. Again, I'm not going to focus too much on the goalkeepers, lads, because by now you should have a goalkeeper that's one of the best in the business. And if not, you need to save up GP and get somebody like Donnarumma or get somebody like that. And that's it, lads. I think that is it. That's all the players covered. If I missed one, I apologize. But that is it for another player pack review. The national team pack, Japan, the premium version. I did the other player selection pack as well with uh, a couple of other players that aren't featured here. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of this. It's definitely a really good pack. I think Ito by himself is insane. It is pricey. It is pricey at 1,500 coins when you're you're talking about comparing it with the rest of these. Like you can get Germany or England for 900. But definitely he is one of the better legends that they have released or better iconic moment versions that they have released. So yeah, let me know. It's a very unusual and unique card. I think if you came up against that, it would be quite fun to play with or against. So that is it for me, lads. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll be back later with some Dream Team. Peace.